we absolutely will see um, the gyration in the market, um, the constant shift between um, uh, the value and the growth stock, simply because we are market is in transition. It's moving from a very low interest rate environment for years and years, um, and then into a, um, a, a sort of more tipping point of where we started seeing higher interest rates. Um, lots of interest rate increases are being expected in the US and in Australia. We should start seeing interest rate increases uh, in the next, uh, in the second half of as well. So in this sort of environment, we'll see market constantly gyrating, but it's so important to stay true to, um, you know, bottom up fundamental stock investing and finding the quality companies and wait for the share price to come to a good buying point and put them into your portfolio. Looking domestically, um, you know, if, uh, our economy is actually doing quite well and it will grow above trend. Our corporates is, are going to grow mid double digit, um, taking our resources company um, and our interest rate even going higher will still be quite reasonable and our dividend yields pretty good. So in this environment, we should be able to see the cyclical company, value companies to do reasonably well. Um, however, you know, when we take a little bit further up, um, when we start thinking about, you know, what's going to happen in the US with, with seven rate rises and what's going to happen in Europe, um, all of these is going to put pressure um, on the long-term growth outlook for global economy. So if we're taking a 12 month or even two years view, then you, you should be able to see that um, there will be demand back into a lot of those growth companies because um, you know their, their, their earnings are underpinned by structural levers, not based on uh, what the economic outlook is. So for any investors, it's important to, yes, be tactical, have some cyclical companies, but also to future-proof your portfolio, have companies that will grow beyond just the next 12 months or even 18 months. Um, so that's how we approach the current market. When we break out to what, um, you know, what bucket of growth companies you want to be in um, in the next uh, next little while is absolutely the growth company that has its proven business model. There are market leaders that have generate, well, continue to generate very significant um, cash flow. Um, and these are the areas where you want to take the short term market volatility. Um, things like uh, the healthcare sector, where this sector actually has underperformed quite, for quite some time because they're more expensive valuation. But don't forget, this is a sector where they have proven the growth for decades. And these are the real true market leaders globally. Um, and they have this enormous, enormous um, addressable market and structural growth that is to come. So these are the businesses such as uh, CSL um, and um, likes of uh, uh, Cochlear. These businesses, um, you know, with such a strong business model and rarely do you see them going for cheap. Um, however, in the last couple of months, we saw significant buying opportunities. Um, and these are the companies you almost can buy and put in the bottom drawer. Um, what's another component of those business that will do well is that uh, aside from their structural growth um, component and being market leader, um, they, they only have also also been hurt by COVID related lockdown. Um, you know, in the case of CSL where they couldn't collect enough uh, in, enough blood to fractionate. And then in the case of cochlear, there was not enough uh, elective surgery because of the hospital uh, was shut or converted to, um, you know, COVID emergency rooms. So on these basis, the earnings not only will grow structurally, it will um, significantly grow in the next 12 months just as the reopening economy picks, picks up. There's a, a lot of opportunities in the market and even in the tech space where, um, you know, things being pretty tough, like you said, the sum of the share price has fallen, um, you know, between 50 and 70 percent. Um, but the two we do absolutely like is the likes of Zero. Um, you know, the company was expensive, but, uh, you know, its addressable market has been expanding uh, enormously, moving from uh, New Zealand, Australia to UK, which they've demonstrated their ability to take share. Um, and then now they're moving into the US and all the underlying stats have shown that they're doing very, very well. Um, this company share price um, uh, has gone through enormous volatility because of the shift. It's moved from almost $150 back to um, actually below $100 or around that $100 mark. Um, it's got earnings coming up very soon. So we believe this company, um, aside from the catalyst, is going to do very well. Um, and it's, again, another good bottom draw sort of tech company um, that you can keep. Um, another name is Seek. Um, this one is a little bit cheaper on the relative basis. Um, this business is very much linked towards the uh, stronger economic cycle um, and, um, you know, stronger employment market and the like. Um, and then the market, is, the company just delivered over 70% profit growth uh, for the first half and expecting uh, another double digit growth for the next few years to come. Um, you know, and then the share price has, you know, so has in the, underperformed a little bit relative to the market. And we think that represent really good opportunities at this point. 
For shorting opportunities, absolutely, we're looking for the um, most expensive part of the market, so where the valuation is uh, will be under threat with the amount of uh, interest rate that we what, that we expect it to come through. Um, and these other businesses, a lot of them are not profitable, um, and then really based on um, you know future expected earnings that is to come through. Um, and with um, that basket of stocks that we're actually seeing a lot of companies that not only um, valuation being derated, in, even in terms of their um, earnings expectations, they we're finding them difficult to meet um, the lofty expectations the analyst has put out there. So that basket is, um, you know, it's actually, um, there's a lot of opportunity for shorting.